But you want to know the funniest part? It's really funny. <laughs> Pope Benedict looks exactly, I mean exactly, like the neighbor who molested me when I was four years old. Isn't that funny? <laughs> I have to get out of here. And that's what I do. I fight my way out of the rectangle, escaping to a square, St. Peter's Square, where in this sunny spiritual place under the bluest of sky, I have a revelation. It's whispered to me in a sweet angelic voice that surrounds me softly saying, You're fucked up! <laughs> in secular terms, I realize that my abuse issues may not be completely behind me, even though I thought they were behind me because how else would I be relationally healthy enough to have a great relationship? Relational is one of those therapy terms I acquired being in and out of therapy for 20 years, resulting in the fact that I not only know the word relational, but I have been certified as relationally healthy. I have the certificate to prove it. I have the marriage certificate to prove that I am healed. However, having been to therapy, I know that when a person has had trauma, the way that they know the trauma still has a hold on them is through the display of something called trauma drama. <laughs> and that's what's happening now. That's what continues to happen in the days after Sistine Shrapnel, when my drama turns into a drama festival. Specifically, I start snapping at Matt, and he snaps back until one day I declare I'm leaving him for the afternoon to get a hold of myself. For hours, I wander around this ancient city, finally ending up past dark on the Spanish steps where I notice something strange. Women from all over the world here in Rome also snapping at their husbands. <laughs> and though I don't understand their languages, I clearly decipher their nuances of irritation, chalo, impatience, rososé, disappointment, Coca, and even contempt. 